Uh, welcome back to Belleville, Kansas, Republic County, uh, the consolidated uh, area up here. Um, kind of glad Belleville actually graduated uh, five or six, or I might say seven or eight, uh, just quality type basketball players up here. So we're really unsure of what they have. We do know for a fact that uh, Coach Shields will have a quality team on the floor. Minneapolis uh, coming off a big victory at home uh, before the Christmas break. We'll uh, try their hand here tonight coming back after the Christmas break playing Republic County on their home floor. Uh, Minneapolis uh, just one loss so far in this young season was a first game of the season against Halstead and uh, Minneapolis uh, has matured quite a bit since then and is playing a lot better ball. You know, they have after that uh, after that first loss to Halstead, like you said, they've kind of come out with some intensity and they played pretty good ball. Uh, now you've got a break, you've got coming in against a team that we don't know a lot about uh, in Republic County and uh, it's, uh, it'd be interesting to see what we see on the floor for the Buffs. That's true. Minneapolis 4-1 uh, on this young season, I believe. Many, uh, the girls were 5-0, and oh, so uh, this could be uh, an interesting uh, matchup. Minneapolis uh, looking forward to another tough uh, opponent this coming Friday at home, which we would like to see uh, the Lions stand just completely full of uh, Lion backers. Minneapolis will be playing southeast of Saline at home Friday night. Friday. I, I went next door to ask uh, what Republic County's record is. Two and three, two wins, three losses. Uh, so now they've played some Nebraska teams. Don't know much about, uh, but uh, that's their record to start the season at two and three. So, but uh, they uh, they don't have a lot of returning experience. I remember from last year, they had like nine seniors on that squad. And they had a couple uh, uh, cool, uh, let's see, I'm looking down, uh, down the list here. A um, couple kids that, uh, Nick Junker was one of them that had some playing time, but that's about all I know about this Republic County team. But I'm sure they've had some kids that have got a lot of experience, JV-wise, and were pretty solid as well. Well, Junker uh, carried the ball for him most of the time in football season, so he's a well put together young man, about six foot tall, about 195, 200 pounds. But I think Minneapolis has the quickness here, uh, and it looks like uh, Junker will come off the bench. Damon, uh, six foot two, uh, dad is the superintendent here, I believe, or principal here formerly from the Minneapolis school system. Minneapolis uh, has uh, done quite a good job, I would have to say, rebounding against uh, teams this year. All the teams we've played have, Ellsworth, Sacred Heart, have been uh, taller than us, and uh, Minneapolis doing a good job on the rebounding side of the, the uh, especially the defensive class have done a great job. Shooting uh, a very good clip from the free throw line. Uh, interesting, uh, interesting. Um, I was kind of looking down the sheet trying to figure out who was starting, who was not for the Republic County. They got a freshman starting, and it's a Coolman. Number 13, Trenton Coolman, a name that we've called a few times in the past. Um, does not surprise me, but he's a, a freshman. He's their starter. Uh, went next door to ask for sure, and that's uh, what they got. And I'll run down the starting, uh, the list of the players here in just a second, but uh, kind of interesting. Well, if he uh, grows into his big brother's shoes, he's going to have some big ones to fill. His uh, big brother graduated last year, about six foot four, and uh, had a really, really nice outside shot, could step outside and shoot or he could take it inside. Exactly. And I don't know, I think with uh, the looks of their ball club, they shouldn't be too much of an up-tempo team. I think they'll play a half-court 
offense, kind of like uh, Minneapolis likes to, so it should be a chess match between the two coaches. Just a minute or so before the tip-off and the introduction of the uh, players. Minneapolis, typically Argon Bright, Weedle, McCulloch, George, and Crossan. The luxury uh, Coach Shoup has this year is uh, a deep bench. He has uh, four or five guys that come off the bench. Yeah, Plays, and, uh, and that has good. been that has been a nice little advantage. Uh, took a few games to kind of figure out what starting lineup they were going to go with, but uh, but uh, they do come out and they uh, come up with uh, kind of what we've seen all year for a starting lineup. As I get my book in line here, and we'll get the starting lineup in just a second. As Minneapolis, uh, pretty much I think we'll see the same starting lineup as what we've seen uh, all year. But uh, starting out, Casey Argenbright from Minneapolis, a five foot nine junior, number thirteen for the Republic County Buffaloes, um, five foot nine freshman Trenton Coolman uh, for the Buffs. Uh, for Minneapolis, number 15, uh, Grayson George, a six foot one junior for the Lions. Uh, also for the Buffaloes, number 20, Landon Hedstrom, a six foot two junior. For Minneapolis, Logan Weedle. Uh, for Minneapolis, a uh, five foot ten senior. For the Buffs, number 30, Brett Wilkinson, a five foot eleven senior. For Minneapolis, number 33, Dylan Crossan, a five, six foot three junior. For, many, uh, for the bus, Kalen Cromwell, a number 32, a six foot sophomore. And for Minneapolis, Keegan McCulloch, a six foot three senior. And for the bus, a six foot two senior, Braden Dammon. So Minneapolis Lions coming in with a four and one record. And the bus at two and three, we will take a break for the national anthem. Welcome back to Belleville, Kansas, Republic County High School as the Minneapolis Lions and the Republic County Buffaloes getting ready to do battle here tonight in a league matchup here, start of the new year. And it'll be interesting to see how both squads come out. What we bring the floor, Minneapolis in their traveling red, Republic County in their home white. And Minneapolis and Republic County getting ready to do battle here as jumping will be Grayson George as well as number 33, Braden Damon for the buffs. So, Mike, uh, what do you expect here? Well, I, I expect a half court game and uh, a little better toss in the middle that went over <laughs> Grayson's shoulder and neither uh, yeah. jumper got any, uh, got a hand on it at we'll all. We'll have another chance here to jump and this time tossed <laughs> low for the uh, Republic County side and they get it to start. Oh, nice pick by Casey Argenbright. He'll take it in for the bucket. Nice job by Casey Argenbright with the steal as he picks the freshman's pocket. 
And another steal by Casey Argenbright as he this time goes up and he makes another one to start. Great job by Argenbright as he picks the freshman's pocket twice to start with. Good hustle by Casey right there. And the ball goes on the outside. Swing pass over to the left to uh, Wilkinson. Wilkinson picked up and puts it on the floor. Back in the hands of Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Argenbright. Kuhlman gets it over on the outside. Picks up his dribble. Gets it to Hedstrom. Hedstrom back over at the top to Damon. Damon back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman on the outside. Three-point shot up and off the mark. Rebounded by, by the bus. Puts it right back up. No good. And it's going to be... A foul on Minneapolis. So the Lions are going to call a 30-second timeout to talk about it. I, Dylan Crossing Dylan calls Crossing. with the foul. So interesting uh, interesting call right there. And Republic so. County doing a good job on the offensive glass. Minneapolis boxing out, but no one coming in to uh, get the rebound. Dylan had to. Grab a hold of uh, Republic County defender there. 30-second timeout by Coach Shoup, and we're right back in action here. Yeah, four to nothing Lions with the lead, but uh, Shoup saw something on the defensive side that he wanted to make sure he got a handle on as the bus will inbound the ball. And Buffalo's inbounds it. They get it to the top of the key, throw it back in the backcourt to Wilkinson. Wilkinson guarded by Weedle. Wilkinson crossover brings it down across the timeline. Gets it back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Argenbright. Kuhlman with the ball. Back to number 32, Cromwell. Cromwell uh, nearly stolen by Minneapolis. Back to Wilkinson. Wilkinson looks down low and picks up. Back in the hands of Hedstrom. Hedstrom looks on the outside, goes to Damon. Damon with the ball. Backdoor cut. Shot in the lane, no good. Rebounded by Casey Argenbach. Casey will bring it down the other direction. Casey, and he's going to walk with it. As tried to tried to get into the lane with the ball and just couldn't get a hold of it and took it off his hip and turnover goes back to the Buffs. Almost looked like he was trying behind the back pass and yeah. it got hung up on the hip. Ball goes back to Damon, back on the outside to Kuhlman. Kuhlman looks down low. And stolen by Logan Weedle. Logan, and then Logan loses it. Wow, it's we got the turnover bug starting in the boys' game, and that's <laughs> not a good thing here. So, ball goes back in the hands of Hedstrom. Hedstrom swing pass over to Kuhlman. Kuhlman on the outside, and stolen by Logan or Keegan McCulloch. And Keegan will take it all the way in, and he'll get fouled. Nice job by Keegan McCulloch. Foul, I believe, is on Kuhlman. No. Number 30. Number 30. That is Wilkinson, his first personal foul. Grayson George to inbounds. Minneapolis really their first chance to set up in the half court. Grayson George for three, and it's good. Whoa. Nice job by Grayson George to start this thing out. Hits a three from the right corner. They didn't even come to get him, and George hammers down the three ball. And another turnover as Kuhlman puts it on the ground and out of bounds. And... So far, Casey's uh, playing havoc with the young freshman there. And checking in will be number 11, Cody Zinger, for the Buffs, as well as number 24, Nick Junker. Well, it's his own defense, a little uncharacteristic of uh, Coach Shields. Sheets. Sheets, excuse me. Grayson George, sorry about that, Mike. Grayson yeah, thank George, you back for to Logan correcting Weedle. me. Well, Pass up to Grayson George off the mark, missed. Uh, tried to go a backdoor pass and just couldn't get her to finish. Junker with the ball, back on the outside goes to Zinger. Zinger back to number 32, which is Cromwell. And then stolen by Grayson George. Grayson gets the steal and goes the other direction and he goes up and misses it. And gonna be a foul. And on number 32. That should be on. Wow, that's interesting. Cromwell. So Grace and George will go the line. Shoot two here. First one is up and in and out. 
Coach Sheets is going to call a timeout to talk about it. So we will go ahead and take one with them. Minneapolis with the seven to nothing lead here. 30 second timeout. You're listening to 910 KNA. Sir of Lions Sports Coverage. Listen to live broadcast on 910 KINA.com or on your local Eagle Cable Channel 8. Welcome back to Belleville as Grayson George drains the free throw to make it an eight to nothing lead. Full court press picked up by the Lions here. Oh, shot thrown up Damon down low and he's gonna get a bucket down low. As they do break the press as they have a cherry picker down low. Now they pass it over the top and we're just not back. We're up on the double teams. Logan Weedle back to Casey Argham, right back to Grayson George. Grayson on the outside goes into McCulloch. McCulloch gets his man up in the air, shot with the left hand off the mark, no good. Picked up by Junker, back in the hands of Kuhlman. Kuhlman will bring it down to set it up. Kuhlman brings it down to the left hand side, gets down on the ground, picks it up, gets it back over to Cromwell. Cromwell back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Argenbright. Back to Junker. Junker back to Cromwell. Guarded by Kate, uh, Grayson George. Goes back over to the outside to Zinger. Zinger back to Junker. Oh, nice in the pass to Damon, and he gets a buck on the inside. Damon, a senior, um, pretty good size, and gets a couple buckets, and a uh, turnover by Minneapolis. So, eight to four. Lions with the lead, but uh, uh, a couple turnovers and a couple buckets by their big man down low, and the bus are somewhat back in this thing. Ball on the outside goes to Junker. Junker drives and stolen by, by uh, Minneapolis, Dylan Crossan. Casey Argenbright from the free throw line. Shot is in good, and it's good. Nice job, Casey Argenbright as he gets the bucket and he's fouled. That was a pretty shot. That was wonderful. Casey pulls up, didn't have the fast break, but he did have the little eight foot jumper in the paint. Drains it and is fouled. He'll get the and one here. Casey with six points here in the first three minutes of this action. Minneapolis gets uh, four fresh bodies in. Charlie Lynn, Andrew Yoxel, uh, John Michael Darrow, as well as Kyler Macy. So shot is up and good by Argham Wright, and he'll get a breather as Tyrell Owens checks in as well. So Minneapolis gets in a fresh five as the, uh, uh, what a luxury that is. Oh, yes. <laughs> Both the girls and the boys really had that luxury this year, and it's Well, you know, nice. if you're a player, you can go 110%, and you've got, you don't have to play all the minutes. It's better that way. I mean, you can play harder. Tyrell Owens whistled with a reach-in foul. His so. first. And Minneapolis first team foul. Actually, they called that on Darrow, I believe. Uh, yes, they did. So, Buffs will get in uh, look, number 40, will come in for the Buffaloes, and that is uh, Gary Hadachek. Ball on the outside to Junker. Hadachek with the ball. Hadachek goes on the outside. He'll look down low. Another freshman, young player, and They've got two freshmen, had to check a freshman as well as um, uh, a lot of young players that we've, uh, they've had brothers that have played ahead of them. So yes. you, know, and they're, you know that they've, uh, they've got some talent and they're uh, just a young team right now. So. so ball will go back to Minneapolis. Yoxley inbounds it to Darrow. Darrow will bring it down to set it up. Back to Macy. Macy back to Darrow. Back to Macy on the outside. Looks down low. Goes to Owens. Tyrell swing pass over to Macy back. Looking down low. They go down to Charlie Lynn. And Charlie will be fouled on the floor. Good inlet pass by Owens down low to Charlie Lynn. That's a good look. And and a great look. Foul will be on the Buffaloes. Where the defense collapsed on Charlie and Foul is called. That's fourth team foul already for Republic County. Foul on uh, Kaelin Cromwell. That's a second as Kuhlman will check back, check back in. All the inbounds goes to Macy. Macy back in the corner to Darrow. Darrow picks up his dribble, gets it over to Macy. Macy to set it up. Back over to Owens. 
Owens, swing pass over to Darrow, back to, ah. And turnover goes back to the bus. 11 to four lines with the lead, minute 54 left in the first, half, first quarter. Ball goes back to Hadachek. Back over to Kuhlman, doing down low. Good backside help by Charlie Lynn as they tried to go down low to Junker. And uh, it will stay with the Buffs. Ball closed to inbounds. They get it into Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Macy. And Macy just as quick as Argenbright on the defensive side. Oh, wow. Call a hand check on Kyler Macy as that'll be his first personal foul. Fourth team foul for Minneapolis. Inbound a one-handed one at that. Usually they call that if you got two hands on them and Kyler just with one hand. So Minneapolis getting their starting five back in uh, with the next, next dead ball. Ball goes to Junker. Junker tries and gets the bucket and the foul as Junker puts the ball on the floor and takes it in. He'll go to the line for a chance for three. Foul is called on number 25, Tyrell Owens. Minneapolis will get their starting five back in the ball game. As good minutes by second group. Junker at the lines, 11 to six, lines with the lead. Team fouls are even at four apiece. Junker gets the and one here. And off the mark, rebounded by McCulloch. Keegan gets it to Casey Argon by a minute 22 left in the first quarter. Casey with the ball on the outside. Picks up his dribble, gets it back to Logan Weedle. Logan on the outside, he'll drive, gets it to McCulloch. McCulloch back to Argenbright. Back to Weedle. Weedle from the free throw line, shot is up and no good, but Crossan with the rebound, up and good. Nice job by Dylan Crossan with the rebound and the putback. 13 to six, minute left in the first quarter and stolen by Minneapolis, great hustle by McCulloch and Logan Weedle. From the free throw line is Weedle off the mark, another rebound by Crossan and Crossan's mugged on the corner. Gets it back to Grayson George. Grayson from the shot, up and good. Grayson George from the corner, little two point runner Nice up and shot by by yeah. the... Uh, on the defense <laughs> there, Grayson George just able to get a finger on that just to <laughs> deflect that pass, and it goes right to Minneapolis, and a quick two buckets by Minneapolis. 35 seconds left, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, we both talked about how uh, Alan Sheets is a pretty good coach. He also works the officials very well. <laughs> and he was working them right there, and he's was trying to get a timeout, calls a full timeout, so we will take one with them. Actually, let's just keep it here, Mike. Uh, 15 to six lines with the lead as they've come out and start out very strong here in, in, the, uh, in the first quarter. Yeah, just uh, a quick uh, turn of events there. Minneapolis with uh, two quick baskets, and all of a sudden, uh, Belleville find themselves nine points behind. I'm sure Coach Sheets, I'm sorry I was calling him Shields earlier. It has something to do with the a street in Oklahoma City. <laughs> well, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, Sheets well, with a quick timeout, and he's going to work this uh, last 35 seconds. Minneapolis is going to do all they can to try and get that <coughs> ball back here. A full court press picked up by Minneapolis. Junker to inbounds the ball. Gets it into the hands of Kuhlman. Kuhlman uh, guarded by Argenbright. Kuhlman brings it down quickly to set it up. Slides with them very well. Gets it over in the hands of Wilkinson. Wilkinson uh, picks up his dribble. And back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman on the outside with 16 seconds left, guarded by Argenbright. And it's off of, oh, God, nice job by Casey. Forces the turnover. And uh, Kuhlman gets it out of bounds. 12 Not seconds his best left. quarter of the year, I'm sure. Nine seconds left. Casey walks it down to set it up and gets it back to, oh, and Minneapolis turns it over. Oh, my goodness. That one was, that one was, that hurt right there. <laughs> Had a chance to put some points on. So shot from three-quarter court, no good, as Minneapolis takes the lead at the end of the first quarter by a score of 
15 to 6. We'll be back with second quarter action. You're listening to uh, Belleville, Kansas, Republic County High School as the Buffaloes trail Minneapolis 15 to 6 as Minneapolis will have the ball to start the second quarter. Argon Bright will bring it up to set it up. Picks up his dribble, goes down low and off the hands of Keegan McCulloch. Uh, another turnover by Minneapolis. Gives the ball back to Republic County. 2-3 zone by Republic County has been fairly effective. Minneapolis trying to throw over the top. Ball goes back over the hands of, of Zinger. Zinger back to Junker. Junker guarded by Dylan Crossan. Goes back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman on the outside. And stolen by, uh, by Logan Weedle. Logan will bring it down to set it up. Back to Crossan. Back to Argenbright. And a walk called on Casey Argenbright. So just when I think we've got it, we get another turnover. And uh, right now, some unforced errors by the Lions. Kuhlman with the ball on the outside, guarded by Argenbright. And nearly picked off. Back to Kuhlman, and he's wide open. Gets back to Zinger for three, and it's off the mark, rebounded by Grayson George. Grayson with the rebound. As he'll bring it down to Dylan. Oh, wow. Nice block by Braden Damon as Keegan McCulloch. Um, Keegan was very quick about yeah, getting it and turning around, but Damon was on a dead run and, and knocks it out of bounds. Nice spin move up, and uh, Damon blocks it out of bounds. Logan Weedle for three. It's off the mark. That rebounded by Grayson George. Picked up by Keegan McCulloch. No good. And this time rebounded by the Buffs. Well, we had our chances there. We did. Had three opportunities right there and couldn't get it to fall. Kuhlman with the ball on the outside. Guarded by Argenbright. Good switch over right there. Switch on the outside. Three-point shot by Zinger is good. As Zinger hits a, hits a Zinger right there as he gets his <laughs> first points of the night. 9 to 15 lines with the lead. Minneapolis yet to score here in in the uh, Oh, nice pass down low to Dylan Crossan as pretty. Keegan just beautifully dropped it down low when the defense came out on him. 17 to 9 lines with the lead. As Kuhlman with the ball. Kuhlman very quick uh, when uh, when he can Shot up by Grayson George off the mark, rebounded by Zinger. What I was going to say is Kuhlman very quick with the ball, and uh, when he's got it under control, sees the floor very well. I can see why he's a starter. Yep. Just needs a little more experience, and that will come through this season. Oh, absolutely. That's, That's a, a travel right there. Yep. You know, I remember uh, Casey Argenbright a few years back as a freshman having the same situation. Saw the floor very well, just uh, um, had, had the turnover bug early on, and uh, that Trent and Kuhlman uh, kind of had the same thing in the first quarter, but uh, nice job as uh, Minneapolis with the lead and the ball. Darrow with the ball as Darrow as well as Yoxel and Lynn check in. Uh, three second violation. No, it's a foul. Who's the foul on? Yoxel. Yoxel. So Sheets over there working the official trying to get a traveling call. So one better. So Kuhlman with the ball, drives down, guarded by Darrow. Gets it back in the hands on the outside of Cromwell. Cromwell picks up his dribble, gets it over to, to Zinger. Zinger guarded by Weedle, back to Junker. Three-point shot by Kuhlman, and he drains one. Kuhlman left open for a second, and he drains one. Darrow, Darrow back to Yoxel, back to Weedle. Back to Weedle, uh, to Darrow, shot up and no good. Rebounded by Yoxel, and off of White stays with Minneapolis as Yoxel just slipped off his hands. And uh, Nice job on the offensive glass there. It will be Minneapolis ball to play in. Grayson George to inbounds. Gets it to Charlie Lynn. Charlie in the lane 
and he's going to be fouled. Nice job by Charlie Lynn as he takes it right to the hole, and he will go to the line to shoot two. Draws the foul on Damon, his first personal foul. First shot is up and off the mark. Too a little bit too heavy, so he'll have another one coming. Charlie Lynn, a senior for the Lions. Second shot coming. And it's good. Gets the second one to fall. Ball go back to the bus. 9, 18 to 12, Lions with the lead. Ball goes back on the outside to Cromwell. Cromwell back. Oh, wide open is, once again, is Kuhlman. This time he misses it, but uh, um, I don't. I wouldn't want to leave him wide open like that. And Minneapolis forces gets a turnover right there. Junker with the uh, Kuhlman with the ball on the outside, gets it down low to Junker, back to Damon, back to Kuhlman. Zinger for three, off the mark, rebounded by Grayson George. Grayson up to Logan Weedle, Logan, and oh, you got to be kidding me! Wow, did not see that one coming, Mike. They get Logan Weedle called for a short with a push off, and it goes the other direction, and that's a uh, that's <laughs> Coach Sheets right over there working the. Oh official yeah, end. a big time, big time. That was a uh, that was called by the bench. So all on the outside to Zinger for three, off the mark. And Junker goes over the back of Charlie Lynn, no call. And goes back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman set it up. Back to Junker. Junker goes down low to Zinger. And he's going to be fouled by... Not sure who the foul's on. I think it's on McCulloch. Casey Argenbright, maybe? Yeah, it is Casey's. Casey's first personal foul at the line will be Cody Zinger. Shot is up and no good. Second shot coming. <clears throat> shot is up and good. Gets it to fall as Cromwell checks out and checking in will be Wilkinson. So, Argenbright will bring it down to set it up. 18 to 13. Darrow with the ball on the outside. Back to Logan Weedle. Back to Argenbright. Argenbright drives. Back to Darrow for three. Yes, nice shot by Darrow as he hits a big three right there. I knew he made one when I was gone, but that's the first one I've seen. That's the third one he's made. I know, and I've missed them both. <laughs> I, I think I've missed them all. He's a good spot-up shooter, and when he's squared up to the basket, he likes that top of the circle three. Nice steal, steal by, by Keegan. Keegan. Nice pass up to Casey Argenbright, and nice job by Keegan to let that one go. So, Keegan sees the floor so well. And nice job to let that one go. 23 to 13. Minneapolis back up by 10. Junker with the ball. Back to Damon. Back to the outside. Uh, Kuhlman is going to. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. They get a nice uh, pick, pocket get picked right there, and they call a foul oh my. on Keegan McCulloch. Ah, that one is. That one was. Pretty clean pick, I Very thought, much from so. there, but I'm quite a ways off. So at the line, that's our eighth team foul. At the line will be Kuhlman. I'm sure he'll make these. First shot is up and good. Usually a young point guard like that, he's probably been in the gym his entire life. Yeah. <laughs> he'll have another one coming. Shot is up, and it is good. Makes them both. Argenbright will bring it down to set it up. 23 to 15, 222 left to go in the first half. Ball goes to McCulloch. 
Kulik in the lane, shot up and off the mark. Rebounded by Junker. Kuhlman will bring it down to set it up for the Buffs. Guarded by Darrow. Over to Junker. Junker. Stolen from behind by Argenbright. Casey puts it up and he's fouled, but almost got the end one. Nice job by Argenbright to get the to get the steal. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Well, you turn your back on Casey Argenbright and Junker gets his pocket picked. Casey almost uh, got that shot to draw. Uh, puts it up a little short off the front of the rim. We have another one coming. Second shot on its way, and that one's nothing but net. Ball with the uh, bus with the ball. Double team on the outside. Ball and oh, nice backdoor pass to Damon. And wide open is Damon. And he's had three of those, point blank, wide open. Grayson George from the free throw line, no good. Rebounded by Kuhlman. 24 to 17, minute 26 left in the first half. Junker with the ball, guarded by Crossan and a steal right there by McCulloch. McCulloch up and good, nice job. Keegan McCulloch gets the bucket and he'll go to the line for one as Junker Gets the foul, I believe. Nice play by Keegan McCulloch. Anticipation, got the steal, and then he finished. He'll get the and one as Junker tried to stop the easy layup and could not. Charlie Lynn checks in for. And he's getting an earful from Dylan Crossan. Shot is up and good. As the senior lefty makes it 27 to 17. Goes back to Kuhlman, guarded by Darrow. And nearly another steal by McCulloch. Nice defense by the Lions. As ball goes back on the outside of Damon. Damon guarded by McCulloch. Back to Kuhlman. 54 seconds left. Kuhlman pulls it back to set it up. Guarded by Darrow. Gets it back in the hands of Wilkinson. Wilkinson guarded by Argenbright. Wilkinson pulls it back down to set it back up. Back to Kuhlman. 33 seconds left. Uh, Republic County content to milk this down to the last second. Wilkinson drives. Back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman with the ball. With about 17 seconds left. Don't want a foul here. No. Ball goes Got back to Good Kuhlman. job on defense here. Ten seconds left. Back on the outside. Oh, back door. He's got it wide open. And he drives it in all the way as Wilkinson gets the bucket. The one second left. And a shot up and no good as Minneapolis gives up a bucket right there at the end. At the half, Minneapolis with the lead, though. Uh, 27 to 19. We'll take a break. And... We'll get some stats, and we'll be back with some stats in the second high school. Minneapolis Lions with the lead 27-19 at the half. And Coach Weatherman joins us here at half to uh, talk about the girls' game. And um, Coach, uh, uh, first of all, congratulations, still undefeated. But uh, a little bit of a challenge tonight. Um, a couple things that uh, Lady Lions come away with the victory, but they kind of, uh, one of the things that I noticed that I'm sure you kind of noticed as well, that we let them back in, especially in the fourth quarter, and that was because of some turnovers. Yeah, we, um, you know, I thought we did a stellar job of playing defense for three quarters and, and you know, held them to 22 points. The fourth quarter, we just kind of let the gas off just a little bit and we lost some concentration, made some silly mistakes on offense, threw the ball away. Um, uh, they slapped that man full court press on us and, and um, we hadn't went over our 1 4 press break over Christmas break, and that's a little bit of my fault. And we really, we really weren't ready for it. Um, and it, we, we had some turnovers, didn't um, let them back in the game. Yeah, we noticed that um, uh, we felt like in the third quarter they came out with that great intensity and had, a, had some of that uh, uh, 
turnover with the points, points on the, off the turnovers, and had done a great job. But like you said in the fourth quarter, we just kind of felt like at the 223 mark, is if I remember right, is when we got our first field goal in the fourth quarter. So, uh, but the, needless to say, the ladies come out with the victory tonight. Um, had some pretty good bench play. Um, uh, one in double figures with Shea Shoemaker. Um, Kelsey Page probably had one of her worst nights that I've seen in a long time. Kind of struggled from the field as well as on the floor a little bit. But uh, uh, how nice is it to add another player in the mix in Bailey Walker? Yeah, uh, I thought Bailey, you know, she had set out of all sports for the whole first semester, and, and I'm sure she was pretty nervous coming into the game tonight. Um, she didn't look like it, though. I mean, if she was nervous, she didn't show it on the court. She made some nice passes, um, drove the ball to the basket one time, got a layup. Um, she's going to be a, a nice player for us. Um, it, she just gives us another guard that can handle the ball, and she plays pretty good defense, has a good concept of man defense. Yeah. Now, it, now, am I right? She could practice, but she just couldn't couldn't play until semester. Yeah, she's practiced with us um, the whole first semester, or through the first part of the season. Now, uh, Lady Lions, uh, they, they come away with a, a victory tonight. Uh, as, we, as we talked about, 45 to 38. We now are at home on Friday night against the Southeast of Sling Trojans. Yes, and um, that's going to be an up and down game. Uh, you know, they lost Frost off last year's team, who was, who was probably the best player we saw last year. Uh, but they still got four girls back that can really play, uh, play and shoot the ball really well with um, Russell, Mortimer, Wells, and, and Sager. They're, they're going to they're gonna shoot a lot of threes. Russell can and penetrate. Um, she's going to look to dish it off to the other three, and if she can't get the ball to the basket, um, they, they don't have much of an inside game, but they're going to probably press this full court and try to pick the tempo up, which suits us well. I mean, that's that's kind of basketball we'd like to play as well. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I was probably more nervous about tonight's game coming here on the road than I am Friday night's game getting back on our home court here um, after Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, one of the things that, uh, getting back to tonight's game, one of the things that we noticed in the first half that Mike and I were talking about is the inside play. We felt like uh, the girls did a great job of getting some inside buckets, uh, some inside play. Um, Allie Steinbrock, uh, J.C. Crossan, uh, all both of those girls uh, had a had just a, had a great night down low. Riley Baker didn't get any points, but she had some great time in the paint. Yeah, you know, and, and Connor picked up four points in the first half on the low block. I mean, that, that, you I think you think that. you think of Connor as a three-point shooter, or an outside guard type player. But the way we're running, we want to run that offense. Uh, we can post those, any of those kids up, and, and you know, Republic County wasn't given much help. We were able to get the ball inside and and get some good looks inside. I I thought for the first half was the best we'd looked offensively all year. We didn't quite look that good in the second half. I, I we just kind of froze a little bit. But um, I think um, it's a great feature to have the nine girls uh, uh, solid coming, the four coming off the bench. And it's exciting to see these girls play, and uh, pretty excited to be undefeated uh, uh, to start 2010. Yep, and you know, Southeast, they're like I said, they're going to be one of the teams that um, I, I feel like with us and Beloit and, and Republic County being one of them, and Southeast at the top of our league is going to be a battle till the end of the year. And, and you know, coming up here on the road was a big win for us, and but we got to take care of business at home Friday night. Absolutely. Well, Coach, uh, we appreciate you coming up here at halftime of the boys game and talking with us. And uh, we look forward to uh, uh, being at home Friday night uh, against Southeast of Selene. And, and uh, we will talk to you hopefully Friday night. Okay, thank you. We're going to send it back for a quick word from our sponsor. You're listening to 910 KNA.com as well as Eagle Community Contain them. Minneapolis is going to have to watch the turnovers as well. Start the second half. Kuhlman with the ball guarded by Argon Bright. Gets it to Wilkinson. Wilkinson on the outside. Really nobody in foul trouble, only one foul for numerous players for the Lions, and the turnover gets it back to Minneapolis. Grayson George back to Casey Argonmer. Only one uh, bunch of players with one foul, but nice pass down low to Keegan McCulloch, and he gets the bucket. Nice job by Casey Argonmer to see Keegan. Keegan was open for quite a while down there. Beautiful pass. What a great pass. Ball goes back in the hands of uh, Cromwell. Cromwell. Back to Damon, back to uh, back to on the outside to Wilkinson. Wilkinson down low to Damon. Damon gets the bucket down low. Didn't get a chance to run through the scoring for the Lions. I'll do that when we get a ch chance at the break. Uh, but uh, Argonbright with the ball back to Crossan, back to Grayson George. Grayson 
on the outside, goes into Crossan. Crossan has the shot blocked by Damon, picked up by Kuhlman. Kuhlman with the ball, guarded by Argenbright. Damon, pretty solid player. Nice crossover dribble, shot in the lane, off the mark, and it'll be out of bounds. Back to the lines. Minneapolis led by Casey Argenbright, followed by Grayson George with six. Dylan Crossan with ten. Um, Casey had ten. Grayson George had six. Dylan Crossan had four. Keegan McCulloch three. Charlie Lynn one, and John Darrow with three. And I'll get you the other scoring in a minute. Argenbright on the outside goes down low, stolen, and picked up by the uh, Buffaloes. Tried to get it down low, and like I said, the defensive play of, uh, of Damon, pretty solid. Nice nice hustle by Casey Argenbright as he goes in the stands. Uh, nearly got the steal. He will sit down as Darrow will check in. 29 to 21, Buffs with the ball. Ball goes back in the hands of Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Darrow. Kuhlman back on the outside. Oh my goodness, backdoor pass in to Kuhlman. Is Kuhlman wide open with the backdoor as just like that, they cut it within six. Grayson George on the outside. Goes down low to, and there's the foul down low as Damon gets the foul as Dylan Crossan will go to the line to shoot two. Damon's second foul. Uh, leading the way for the Buffs, uh, Braden Damon had six points. Trent Kuhlman with five. Four by Cody Zinger. Two by Wilkinson and two by Junker. First foul shot is off the mark for Crossan as the Oxen will check in as well as Junker for the Buffs. Second shot coming by Dylan Crossan. Shot is up and it is good. Gets the second one to rattle in. 30 to 23, 5.50 left to go in the third quarter. Ball goes back in the hands on the outside. Goes back to uh, Kuhlman. Kuhlman back to Zinger, back to Junker. Junker. And he travels with it. No. Crossing. Dylan called with the with the foul. So I'll be inbounds. Well, almost five seconds. No call. Zinger with the ball. Pulls it back. Gets it back over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson. Back to Junker. Junker. Back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman with the ball on the outside. Nice block from behind by Yoxel. And ball goes back in the hands of Kuhlman. Great block by Andrew there. Ball goes back over to. Nice down, drop down pass to Damon. Rebounded by Yoxel. Great job by Andrew Yoxel with the big rebound. Ball goes back to Grayson George. Grayson three point shot is up and good. Great shot by Grayson as he drains a three. That's the quick catch and release. Yes. Nice quick trigger. George with the three-pointer down the hatch. That's his second one of the night. Ball goes back to Kuhlman on the outside, guarded by Darrow. Uh, back to Zinger. Zinger from the free throw line. Shot is up and gets it to rattle in as 33 to 25, back to an eight point, eight point ball game. Darrow tries to go down low to Crossan. Crossan deep in the paint, gets it back to Grayson George, off the mark, and should be over the back. And it is Minneapolis ball as Damon goes over the back of Andrew Yoxel. No, call it the other way around. Okay, thank you very much. I was going to say, I was going to come unglued on that one. Damon gets the third foul. Hang tight, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Grayson George to inbound. Gets it into Macy. Macy back to Darrow. 
And McCulloch drives the lane, shot up, no good. Rebounded by Junker. 3.50 left to go in the third quarter, 33 to 25. Ball on the outside in the hands of Kuhlman. Kuhlman back to Hadachek. Hadachek goes over to Zinger. Zinger guarded tightly, and there's a reach in foul by Andrew Yoxa. His second personal foul. That'll be the third team foul. Our second team foul. Checking in will be number 30, Wilkinson for Cromwell. Or excuse me, Cromwell for Wilkinson, the other way around. All the inbounds, gets it in the hands of Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Darrow. Darrow on the outside, gets it to Junker. Junker back to Hadachek. That's a turnover. Kuhlman hadn't had a real good game. Quite a few turnovers for the young guy. But he is so quick. You know, it's one of those things that's going to come. Um, Darrow looks at a deep three. Goes down low to Yoxel. Yoxel shot up and good. Wow, way to go, Andrew Yoxel. Forces it in and forces it up and gets it off the glass and good. That's using the glass to your nice advantage. Nice bank shot, wasn't it? 35 to 25 as Yoxel gets the bucket. 302 left to go in the third quarter. Ball goes back in the hands of Hadachek. Hadachek back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Darrow and three point shot off the mark, rebounded by. Darrow, Darrow will bring it back down to Yoxel, back to McCulloch, McCulloch. So, and there's going to be a foul down low, I believe by Hadachek. I'm not sure how that was a shooting foul, but uh, I, I'll take it. Kind of a <laughs> scoop shot. Called on Yonker, uh, and McCulloch will go to the line, shoot two. Gets the first one to fall. As Darrow will check out and Argenbright checks in. Also checking in will be Wilkinson for Zinger. Second free throw attempt coming by the senior. Shot is up and ooh, in and out, no good. Rebound by Junker. Kuhlman with the ball as he'll bring it down, guarded by Argenbright. See, he'll slide down with them. Ball goes to Junker, back on the outside. Junker at the free throw line. Swing pass over to Wilkinson. Wilkinson picks up his dribble, back to Junker. Picks down low, trying to go down to Hadachek. Has nothing. And nice shot by Hadachek down low. His first points of the night. 36 to 27, Lions with the lead. Back to Yoxel. Back to Grayson George to set it up. Argenbright into Yoxel. Yoxel back to McCulloch. Three second violation. Now that's ridiculous how, uh, uh, that's, like I said, Sheets is a, well, he's a good coach, but boy, he works the official something fierce. Oh, yeah. And that was called from the bench the other direction. And he's still working the official. So. Ball goes back to. Ah. <laughs> and a foul. And I won't disagree with the foul. It's just amazing how, uh, how we get called with that one there. Right in front of. Coach Sheets, <laughs> 36 to 27. Uh, Bust with the ball. Cromwell to inbounds, gets it to Hadachek, back to Cromwell. Cromwell guarded by Grace and George, back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman on the outside, minute 24. Picks up his dribble, gets it back to Yonker. Yonker on the outside, minute 14. Back to Cromwell. Cromwell guarded by Grayson George. Block and nearly saved by Casey Argenbright. Nice block by Keegan. And Casey tried to save it and was on the out-of-bounds line. Nice block. Yep. Headstrom checks in for Junker. 
Logan Weedle will check in as well for Grayson George. Ball will be inbounds. Ball goes all the way back to Wilkinson as he's guarded by Kyler Macy. Kyler all over him. And it'll be off of Minneapolis out of bounds. 55 seconds left. 36 to 20 second, 36 to 27, 55 seconds of the third quarter left. Cromwell to inbounds for the bus. Nearly picked up, stolen. On the outside goes. goes back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman with the ball, guarded by Argenbright, gets it over to Hadachek. Hadachek guarded by Cromwell. Cromwell with the ball, nearly stolen. Ball's on the ground. How's that not a uh, walk with it? There's the jump ball finally. And so. And uh, Casey on top of yeah. the buff. That's one of my pet peeves. You dive on top of a guy, that's a foul. And uh, not called there as no. Coach Sheets did want that call. Ball goes into Argenbright with 27 seconds left. Minneapolis with the ball and a chance to increase the lead here. Argon Bright set it up. Nobody's pressuring them, so, so they'll let it run all the way down to the nine second mark. And that will work at seven seconds left. So Grayson George for three, and it's good. Great shot by Grayson wow. George. Wow. That's the way to work the clock and the bucket. Great little screen on the left-hand side, and he drains it. Nice job by <laughs> Grayson George to hit a big I thought we right were there. running close on time. And, <laughs> and it was. It was on the wing. <laughs> and, that, and no more left his hand. And, and, and it went in. And it went in. Yeah, we don't have off. the lights on the back of the backboard, but we got the buzzer sounding. And it was sounding as it went through the net. So <laughs> Lions increase the lead as they uh, 39 to 27. As we will be back to start the fourth quarter. You're listening to Public County High School, Minneapolis 39, Public County Buffs 27 to start the fourth quarter. As Kuhlman with the ball, as he's guarded by Argerbright. Kuhlman with the ball, gets it over in the hands of Wilkinson. Wilkinson back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Argerbright. Kuhlman rolls around and it's. Going to be stolen. Nice job by Casey Argon right then. Keegan McCulloch with the with the pick. Swing pass over to oh, there, Owens. Tries to get it to Owens, and it's off of number uh, off of Damon. It'll stay with Minneapolis. They tried to go back door to Tyrell Owens, and um, Damon got a hand on it, or may have gotten a bucket right there. Weedle to inbounds. Gets it to Argon Bright. Argon Bright gets it to McCulloch. Kulik in the lane, shot up and off the mark, but he's going to be fouled, and he'll go the line. Fouled by Junker, and that is his third personal foul. Keegan will go the line to shoot two. First shot is up and off the side of the rim, no good. Have another one coming. Second shot on its way, and it is off the front of the rim and picked up by Damon. Misses them both there. Uh, Bus with the ball. Kuhlman brings it down to set it up, guarded by Argenbright. Kuhlman will. And there's a five second violation. Nice job by Casey Argenbright. As a Great job on defense, Casey. I, I'm going to compliment Shoop on something. I don't know if you've noticed, but Shoop has been calm and collective on the entire entire job. Nice job. Goes down to Charlie Lynn, tries to get it down low, turnover by the lines. Tried a little drop down pass. Couldn't quite get it to him. Yunker with the ball. Back to Damon, back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman guarded by Argon, right? And there's a foul by Casey. Should be on the floor. That will be Casey's second personal foul. Fourth team foul. 
As the Buffaloes will inbounds it. 6.48 left to go. 39 to 27. And <laughs> Tyrell Owens with the ball uh, after the turnover. Uh, kind of interesting there. Gets into McCulloch. McCulloch shot in the lane off the mark. And Junker. That's a good call. Junker with the clear, clear out. out. Yep. Just bulldozes right over the top of McCulloch. That should be shouldn't on be the floor. Shooting, should, should be on be. the floor. Right. So, should be on the floor. I, I don't think it's a shooting foul. So, it's their fifth team foul, but they're sure lining up like it's. No, they're not going to yeah, shoot it. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good call. It's not it was by far not a shooting foul. So, Grayson, Jacker, I think, has four fouls now. Yeah, he does. Sorry about that. Fourth foul, Grayson George to inbounds. Casey Argenbright takes a three, and it's good. Nice job, Casey Argenbright. Casey doesn't take a lot of threes, but when he lines up, he's got a st nice stroke. Yeah, when he squared up to the basket and all alone that time, just drops her in. Nice shot. Oh, <laughs> nice blow. Great job by McCulloch. <laughs> Gets the tie up, and it will go to Minneapolis. That was a Did great he have all ball? All or ball you know, just wow. both hands. Nice job by McCulloch with the tie up. So it's a good thing it's a tie up because it would have been a walk if not. <laughs> Keegan McCulloch on the outside. Back to Grayson George. Grayson back to Argenbright. Casey gets his man in the lane, pulls it back out. Back to... Charlie Lynn, and we get the turnover. Uh, a little miscommunication there. Nice hands by Argenbright as he tips it out of bounds. It will stay with the bus. He has tipped two or three of those jumping into the passing lane. He's been giving Kuhlman fits tonight. Oh, he has been. He has been. All the inbounds to Kuhlman. I'd like to see Logan Weedle hit the bomb. Yeah, uh, Logan, you get to score tonight. Uh, nice block by McCulloch. Oh, and there should be a foul right there. That's a blocking foul. Yeah. Good call. That's their 16 foul. Uh, yeah, Logan, you get to score tonight. Uh, uh, don't see that a lot. So, Grayson George to inbounds. Gets it to Argenbright. So, can we call for it? Yeah, Republic okay. County st still in this zone, and I think it's uh, Argenbright open there, and that one just off the rim. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll run a play for Logan and see if we can get him an open look at a three. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So, bucket on the inside, misses by Damon. Wow. At point blank, and Argenbright brings it back to Weedle for three. Oh, I thought we had that, but he gets his own rebound. And he gets it blocked. So, gets a rebound and then gets it blocked. Back in the hands of the bus. Kuhlman with the ball. Back to Cromwell. Cromwell spin move in the lane. Shot up and good. His first points of the night. Casey will bring it down to set it up. Back to Logan Weedle. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game. Back to Argenbright. Argenbright will bring it around to set it up. Back to Grayson George. Back to Argenbright. Back to McCulloch. Back to Weedle. Back to Weedle on the outside. Goes in the hands of Argenbright. Grayson swing move in, shot up and good. Grayson with the bucket. Nice little shot just inside the arch. 44 to 29 lines with the lead, 353. Left to go in the ball game. Goes back in the hands of Cromwell. Cromwell guarded by Weedle. Back over goes to uh, Headstrom. Headstrom with the ball. And that's a reach in foul by Grayson. So. 
Just the fifth team foul on oh, Minneapolis. Charlie Lynn called for the foul. I thought Grayson had the reach in foul. So Minneapolis gets in four fresh players. Kyler Macy, uh, Dylan Crossan, Alex Yoxel, as well as Tyrell Owens check in as Grayson George will stay in for the Lions. Buffs get a new couple of new players in, but I'm not sure who it was. Foul going to be on the floor, but it's going to be on Minneapolis as I believe Yoxel is going to get called with it. We'll see for sure. Yep, yep, Andrew Yoxel with the foul, his third personal. So, 3.34 left to go in the ball game, 44 to 29. Ball goes back to Kuhlman. Kuhlman on the outside. Over to Zinger, and he's going to be fouled. So that's on Grayson George, his second personal. Seventh team foul, so Zinger will go to the line to shoot a one and one Zinger made one of two in the first half. Shot is up and good. Second shot coming. Zinger, a, uh, uh, a junior for the Buffs. Shot is up and off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Dylan Cross and Junker. About to come up with that one, though. Grayson George bring it down to set it up. Grayson back to Kyler Macy. Macy on the outside, back to Yoxel. Yoxel over to Owens. Owens into Crossan. Crossan blocked, puts it back up, and he's blocked How is again. that not a jump? I mean, when you go up and come down with it, that's a Should jump be a ball. Jump. They call a foul the second time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree with you. So foul's called on Hadachek, so Crossan will go to the line to shoot a one, uh, two shots. Usually when it's up and down, it's a jump, and it looked like it's twice in a row there. Now Dylan's got the stroke back on the free throw line, hammers down the first one. Minneapolis with a 15 point lead, 45-30. Second shot is up and good. 16 point lead for the Lions, three minutes left in the ball game. And there's a foul called on Tyler Macy. So Trenton, Kuhlman will go to the line to shoot a one-on-one, -on -one and he was money from the line in the first half. So, so Sheets talking to the official over there, wanting to know an explanation, I guess, is why his player was fouled. <laughs> <So> <laughs> first shot is up and good. Uh, he makes the first one. Second one coming by the freshman. Shot is up and it is off the mark. Rebounded by Grayson George. Grayson will bring it down to set it up. Three minutes left in the ball game. Yoxel with the ball back to Owens. Owens set it up. Over to Macy. Macy goes down low to Crossan. Crossan misses it. Uh, rebounded by Zinger, and Zinger walks with it. Yes, yes. The official didn't want to call it at first, but uh, oh, he had to. He had to. I, that was because Tyrell uh, didn't really. It didn't foul him at all, no, and it was no, uh, just a so. turnover there by the Republic County player. So Republic County takes a timeout. And it's a full one. We will go ahead and take one with them. 2:40 left in the ball game. Lions with the lead, 46 to 31. Fast, it's furious, and it's. Welcome back to. Public County High School. Kyler Mason inbounds the ball for the Lions as gets it to the top, and it's going to be stolen. Turnover taken down by Zinger. Zinger with the ball, guarded by Macy. And he'll pick it up. And then off of Minneapolis's hands, it'll stay with the Buffs. You want to? Yeah, that is a nice defensive play there by Owens. It tipped out of bounds there as uh, Argenbright comes back in. Belleville to play it in under their own bucket. And Junker jacks up a shot. It's off the rim. No good. Minneapolis clears the board. Now Argenbright looking inside. He's got Crossan the back out front to Darrow. Now Crossan in the paint. Shot is partially blocked. 
And Belleville claims the rebound. Kuhlman, Kuhlman, go ahead. Kuhlman brings it back down, gets it to Zinger. Zinger drives the lane, and there should be a charge. Oh, wow. Blocking foul called on Andrew Yoxel. That'll be his fourth foul, I believe. Uh, so, and that is his fourth it foul. It is. So, going to the line will be Zinger. Cody Zinger, he's uh, two for four tonight from the free throw line. First shot is up, and it is good. A minute 55 left as, as the Buffaloes get in number 30, which is Brett Wilkinson. Um, not sure. I, I think everyone else we've seen, uh, Wilkinson's back in the ball game. So second shot is up and good as well. I'm mumbling there, Mike. 46 to 33. Argenbright, back over to Darrow. Darrow pulls it back out to Yoxel. Yoxel looks at Owens. Owens with the ball on the outside. Backdoor pass to Argenbright. Argenbright in the lane, no call. They finally fouled. Had an arm across the top of Casey's. It should be a two-shot foul and is. Argenbright with a nice baseline move on a nice pass from Tyrell Owens. Foul is on. Brett Wilkinson, Casey makes the first one. Minute 37 left to go in the ball game, 47-33. Second shot is on its way and it's good as well. So. Casey with a nice game tonight on the defensive end. I'm just really impressed with uh, his intensity. He's a, yeah, a great ball game tonight. I think he probably sits down to finish the night. Uh, 15 points on the night. This Kuhlman will bring it down to set it up. And 15 points from your point guard. And and Kuhlman trips going in the lane. And tries to split the defenders foul. there, yeah. and uh, foul's called on. wasn't a wasn't a hard foul at all. He just uh, Owens called with the foul, tried to split the defenders, and so two shot foul coming for Coolman. First shot is up, and it is good. Second shot coming by the freshman. Shot is up and he makes them both. I think most of his shot uh, points have come from the free throw line tonight. Yeah. I think he hit one from the outside, but he's uh, hit two from the outside. But you're right. So now the pressure. So all goes into Darrow back to Yoxel, back to Darrow. 48 to 35. Yoxel breaks the press nicely. And back to Yoxel in the lane. And <laughs> I think Mr. Jacker has just fouled out. I think he has. Uh, Yoxel, <laughs> Yoxel uh, um, gets fouled there. He'll go to the line. But I'm sure that's five on Junker. It is. Andrew Yoxel will go to the line for two here. Minute 20 left to go. 48 to 35. Yoxel at the line to shoot two. Well, we ought to make it an even 50 here, Scott. Sounds good to me. First shot is on its way, and it's good. The Oxel with a nice stroke there. Not sure what everyone was doing clearing out the lane there. <laughs> One mark. So, second shot coming by the Oxel. on its way and it is in and out. Not gonna hit 50 yet, Mike. Ball goes on the outside to Zinger. Zinger back to Kuhlman who's back in. Uh, wasn't hurt for very long. Nice rebound by Tyrell Owens. Owens drives all the way in. Oh, can't quite finish it. Nice job by Owens as he drives, drives in. 
We had an open lane all the way in and took advantage of it. Kuhlman almost an air ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yoxel's getting mugged down there and nobody's calling anything. So ball goes back to Macy with 37 seconds left. And it nearly stolen and it almost was stolen. Back to Owens. Owens with the ball as he'll work it on the outside. 24 seconds left. Lions will come away with a nice victory, but uh, uh, a hard fought one. Yes. Oh, what a nice save, by, save Macy. by Macy. Good hustle by Darrow. 10 seconds left. Minneapolis fighting hard here, and there's the turnover right there. So, so 5.8 seconds left as Minneapolis will, uh, excuse me, the bus will inbounds it to bring it down. Kuhlman with the ball on the outside. And that's the ball game. <laughs> Throws it up uh, off the glass and good, but it doesn't count. I don't believe that'll so count. Minneapolis comes away with the 49 to 35 victory. And great job by Minneapolis tonight with the victory. Well, we did it on the defensive end in the second half, limiting uh, Republic County to uh, 15 points, I think, in the second half. So it's a good game by Minneapolis. Uh, well played on both ends of the floor. Minneapolis uh, dominated on the defensive end, I thought, here tonight. Yeah, uh, they did. They did a nice job, and we'll go through some stats. But uh, as you said, a nice effort tonight, and uh, it pays dividends, and they come away with a victory. So uh, Minneapolis wins 49 to 35. Let's go ahead and take a break and hear a word from our sponsors. Then we'll be back with some stats. You're listening to 910 KNA.com as well as tonight. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to point out is even scoring uh, double figures in all four quarters. Uh, pretty mm -hmm. exciting to see. Um, uh, solid, I felt like four solid quarters of basketball. Yeah, it was okay. I, I wasn't very happy defensively with our effort in the second and third quarters, I thought. I thought the second quarter, I didn't think we were playing very hard. In the third quarter, I just thought we were playing pretty dumb. Um, we were just taking some silly chances because we weren't very crisp defensively. And I was disappointed with that. Um, I mean, there's just way too many points that we're giving up there. And, and I wasn't pleased with that part of it. And offensively, I, I, I knew it was kind of going to be one of those games where it was going to be hard to get in the flow because we knew that coming in that they ran like – several different zones they'd switch into man and then we saw some triangle and two tonight and some box and one and you know any time an opponent's gonna be switching in out of defenses like that especially some of what those are called those junk defenses mm -hmm. it disrupts the flow um, we had some kids step up I thought Casey stepped up tonight got some oh, points yeah. again you know you look at the scorebook we got different guys contributing but you know, we'll probably see more of the same on Friday, I would guess. Um, Southeast will do the same kind of things. I'm sure they'll come out and try to throw some of that junk at us. And, uh, you know, for not having worked on it a lot, um, I thought we handled it pretty well. We've got some kids inside that looked a little confused tonight what to do when the ball was in their hands. But uh, <laughs> we'll kind of iron those things out a little bit and, and be back better Friday night. And you know, that's what it's all about, just get better. It's kind of like the first game of your season. Casey Argenbright uh, started out the game, two just beautiful picks, uh, stole mm -hmm. the ball from uh, Kuhlman right off the bat, showed the intensity that he had, mm -hmm. and he just kind of flowed from that point on yeah. and had some great production tonight. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, not very often do you see uh, uh, Logan Weedle not score, but uh, yeah. uh, had some uh, extra help from Casey tonight and uh, had some great effort there. The um, the The intensity of... Uh, okay, let's let's go back. You were talking about the second and third quarter. The second quarter especially, mm -hmm. they kind of, Republic County kind of got back into it. Mm -hmm. They outscored yeah. us in that quarter. I think that was the only quarter that they outscored us in, yeah, uh, only by one. But, uh, uh, but still, they kind of came back, got back into it a little bit, mm -hmm. and kind of disrupted our, our rhythm. But uh, I felt like, still felt like they came back and finish when they needed to. Mm -hmm. uh, anytime we can come away from a victory in, at Republic County. Sure, uh, sure. A tough one. You betcha. Um, yeah, you know, it, it wasn't pretty. I mean, you always kind of know first game out of break, it's probably not going to be too yeah. pretty. <laughs> and uh, You wonder you know, how much rust is going to be there. Yeah, and there's some of that. You know, yeah, Logan didn't get a lot of shots tonight. Um, he didn't also force some things. And, and, you know, like I said, those things will we'll, we'll kind of – 
learn a little bit how to handle those kind of junk defenses. We'll see him again, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, I've always felt like the best way you handle junk defense is you get three other kids stepping up, you know, or four other kids depending on, you know, what they're running you in. And, and we did a better job of kind of feeding those kids, and some of those kids got some points. But, uh, you know, ultimately I, it comes back to defense, and I was really disappointed in the second quarter because I felt like every time they got points it wasn't really because they did. I mean, they hit the shots. Yeah. But we sure did some foolish things on defense that we know better, and 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 that's I was pretty hot with them at halftime about that. You know, it's it's I, I just do what you're told. And Braden Damon had three easy buckets yeah. down in the paint, and it was just silly. I mean, so. just bad rotation on the press that, and they know better. But uh, you know, that's why you come out of break. You, you know, it gives you an opportunity to put some new things in like that press, and you've got to get in the game and make some mistakes to see where you've got to get better too. So that's part of it. And, like I said, the good thing is the kids kind of kept their heads about them. They never really panicked. You know, they worked hard. We didn't give them, you know, in the second half, we didn't really give them easy baskets. I no, mean, they I, had I was going to make they that comment. Get, You're so. a little tough on them. I thought, I thought the second half, you know, you held your point, opponent to 15 points in the second half. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's yeah. kind of closing the door on them. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, you were, like you say, uh, I, I really like Logan when he gets squared up and spotted up to yeah. that line and he just really didn't have a lot of those good looks here tonight right and yeah. uh, I thought uh, Casey overall just had a really really uh, good game all all the way yeah. through yeah I was pleased and, and I sure wouldn't be surprised to uh, see Logan come out and have a big one on Friday we'll definitely look at some things and make sure he gets a few more looks because we need him shooting the ball that's what he's good at and and uh, you know but you know all in all like you said it the one thing we, we didn't give him any cheap things in the second half and that was really the difference probably yeah. Well, congratulations! Cool, it's uh, this is a tough place to come up and win. It always and, is. And, uh, it I really—it's uh, a good game. Thanks. Good win. Uh, I want to comment. I uh, want to compliment you on something. Um, uh, <laughs> Sheets is a good coach. Okay. Yeah, he's but, a great. Coach. But he he works the officials, and I'm proud <laughs> of you because you kept your calm and kept your cool all night. And we could watch in. I'm proud of you, buddy. And I just want to tell you that first of all. So uh, oh, uh, you're a great, but you're a great friend. And, Nice job tonight. Thanks. So, congrats, Appreciate Coach. Thanks, As guys. Lions come away with the victory tonight, we'll be uh, back uh, on Friday night uh, against Southeast of Selene. As I uh, uh, don't know much about Southeast of Selene, Mike, but uh, uh, I'm sure that they will bring a team to the floor. Yeah. They'll be tough. Uh, I'm sure it'll be uh, one of those knockdown dragouts, uh, especially the girls. I think the girls are going to have their hands full. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Uh, they've got uh, Wells, and oh, they've got some great players in that uh, uh, that you're going to have to watch for Southeast of Sling. So uh, Minneapolis though, comes away with the victory. Let's run through some stats real quick uh, before we shut her down. Um, Minneapolis uh, led by Casey Argenbright with 15, Grayson George with 14, Dylan Crossan with 7, 6 by Keegan McCulloch, 3 by Andrew Yoxel, 3 by John Michael Darrow, 1 by Charlie Lynn. For the uh, Republic County Buffaloes, Trenton Kuhlman, uh, I believe leads the way as he ends up with uh, 10 points. Uh, two points by Brent Wilkinson. A two by Kalen Cromwell. Eight by Braden Damon. Uh, nine by Cody Zinger. Two by uh, Nick Junker. And two by Gary Hadachek. So Minneapolis comes away with the victory tonight. 49-35 to over the Portland County Buffaloes. And we can come away with a victory and we can head home. So, for myself, Scott Osherman. A great victory here by both the girls and the boys here tonight. So long, everybody.